All right, so let's go into Easy Insight real quick. Uh, this is the calculator that you'll see in the tool. This is all the greatest data that you need to make some good decisions. I put my price in here, I get my profit amount, I get my ROI, and obviously I'm looking at the criteria I just gave you. I wanna have some good profit, I wanna have some good ROI. Not really worried about the margin because usually these two are telling me what I'm gonna get for margin wise. Um, you could look at that to raise it up even further. I don't even look at this BSR, don't even care. These are, these are snapshots in time. Um, I will look at the chart and I'll show you what I mean, but when I get to that, all right. And then this is the uh, Zen graph and easy insight. What I'm looking for is this green right here. I wanna see lots of up and downs. Every down is called a drop, a sales rank drop. The green chart, the green bar is the sales rank and every down is a potential sale of one or more units, okay? So I'm looking for a lot of activity in, as this chart shows. The um, pink dots here or the triangles are the best, uh, I'm sorry, the buy box. And those are also things I'm looking at plenty of because if there's lots of those, lots of activity, a good selling product, okay? And we're gonna show you how I use those things in my determination of buying a product or not. Another thing I look at is the stock checker. I wanna see that you know the lowest price sellers, the lowest price FBA most of the time, and these are FBA, so green, the dark green is FBA. So I'm looking at these sellers and these are my competition or any FBA that is uh, around that lowest price, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I use those to make a determinant, determination of buying a product, okay? Now, can we sell the product? Uh, up at the top of the AZ Insight chart, you're gonna have these symbols here, these icons, they change depending on what we're looking at. So of course, we're looking for everything green here, okay? That means we can sell it. And if you have any red, this one here is a restricted item. This is an item that we cannot sell. Or hazmat is this icon right here. These are items you want to, you're going to have to avoid because we can't sell those on Amazon FBA. And this one here will turn either red or yellow. And this is an IP checker, which is awesome to have all these tools inside AZ Insight. Um, but this is a tool that can tell you, should I even buy this or bother with this? Because I might get an IP claim. And again, intellectual property claims come against us as sellers from brand owners or people that don't want us selling their product on Amazon. And they will just make your life a little bit of a headache because you'll have to remove the item from Amazon's warehouses. And then lastly, in the stock checker, we can look and see if Amazon's on the listing. And if they are, like I said, I probably wouldn't compete with them because it's their, their sandbox and they can do whatever they want with price and um, it's just not worth the competition or it's not worth the headache to compete with them. All right, so let's go into determining the profit and uh, the selling price. So again, I'm looking for $4 profit for a replenishable item. I'm looking for a $7 profit for any kind of sales or discount, discounted item, 40% ROI on both at least, 35 to 40% and then a selling price of $20. So again, you, this, this is just an example. We got uh, over $20 purchase price on Amazon. Um, we have, this is the buy cost, so we have good profit in this particular case. We have great ROI, it's over the 40%, great margin, even though I'm not looking at that for making a determination. And um, you know, so it, it meets all those criteria, so that's one that I'll look at. The next step, which is, let's look at the velocity of the sales. So in this chart, remember I said the drops are the sales or one of, of one or more units, okay? So in this, I look at the sales velocity by drops. So here's one drop, here's two drops, here's three drops, here's four drops, but I wanna make a point right here. Here's a tiny little drop here. I don't know if you guys can see that on your computer. It's a really little drop. 
I don't count those. I count the major drops. The major drops are a, a potential sale, okay? But in this case, this is a month period right here, and you got about four or five drops, right? Now in this chart, it's same thing, it's a month. We got lots of drops, okay? And even though they're small, it's because the thing is selling so fast, it doesn't have time to, to for the sales rank to move up. And this one's a very active um, ace in here because or very active, very active item because you got lots of buy boxes and lots of uh, movement on that green bar. Okay, so I'm looking for something like this, not so much of this. Okay, and even if this one has great profit, great ROI, it, it if you're only selling a couple a month, you're really just leaving your money with Amazon in the cost of your product. And you want to get that cash flow back. You want to get, even though it might be a smaller profit, let's get something like this. So we get some sales. We build our metrics in Amazon. We get some, uh, we get our cash flow coming back in. We're putting our dollars to work and getting things moving faster. Okay. It used to be said, if you're not online, you're not in business. That's from like 15 years ago. All right. Now it's that if you're not on Amazon, you're not in business. Regardless of that big dream, you've got to build a foundation. You have to have a business that has cash flow. If you need more cash? Go home and source some more. Shove those products into Amazon. What's going to spit out the other end is profit. It's that simple, isn't it? Then they start looking at it as this really is a system. So how can I add more to my system? How can I start to scale this? That's why this is so integral, each pillar leading up sequentially to that long-term reliable business. These are the real assets then that somebody who wants to buy a business, this is what they look for. This is the brand launcher, the career launcher, the income launcher. It's a beautiful thing. And I know you're gonna love what this can do for you. You're gonna get a vision. You're gonna get a vision to grow your business, to sell it for a profit. Kind of show your pals, your friends, your family. Yes, you can make a million dollars just selling on Amazon alone.